God, what's going on everybody? Welcome to episode 490, Arnold's back. Ow, come on, give me two more. You know I can do it again. Yow, I'm just getting pumped with my 50s. If you notice, welcome to Flix Friday. Yow. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Yow. Come on, I keep trying to get bigger. 4002. 4003. Welcome, everybody. 4004. 4005. I'm getting pumped. Yow. Yow. 6000. Let me skip to 6001. What's going on? Down curling 50s. This is light for Papa Swolio. This is light for Arnold. Yow. Yow. Come on, maxing out. Oh, pump it again. Oh, welcome everybody. It's episode 490. Virtual gains. Oh, oh. come on. Ah, one more time. Ah, one more time. Ah. How many more can I do? I need a sparta. I need a sparta. Yeah. Oh. Welcome everybody. Hello, Karen. Hello, Miles. How you doing? These are 50s. These are 50s. I'm curling 50s. Oh, I'm getting tired. This is my low rep set. I'm only doing 10,000 this set. I don't five sets, 10,000. Oh, I have three fucking hands. Hello. <laughs> I'm lifting weights and flexing at the same time. I got four arms. I'm like Goro from Mortal Kombat. I got four fucking arms. I'm a cyborg. You can't stop me. I lift while I'm flexing. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I put them down. Now, one more. Yeah, two more and I start the show. One more. Welcome, Miles. How you doing? Yeah. All right. Welcome, everyone, to episode. Oh, I like it better with the glasses. Come on. Three more. One more for Papa Swolio. Boom. Done. Welcome, everyone, to episode 490 of The Daily Sleazy. Hope you enjoy me getting some sick fucking gains. This is the only swole cast when you flex, when I flex, and then you flex. And then we all flex our biceps. And then sometimes I burp, but that's okay. It's my show. I'll do what I want. Welcome everyone to episode 490. I need some hydration. I need something to do. And I know just the thing. And this is a great episode because a lot of you are dealing with hurricane woes. My people down in Florida are going to get absolutely fucked if you chose to stay. Bad idea, but you're in it now and you have to be safe. But it's going to be hopefully fairly easy to stay safe if you prepared properly. Now this episode, after I introduce this, I'm going to break down a little bit, a couple things that you can do even without power because you know things are gonna get messed up. And this goes for those of you that are home with kids anywhere in the country. These are the, those of you that are away from the gym, you live far away from the gym, or you think, oh, I don't have weights today, I can't work out, I can't make progress. And this goes for anyone, not just people in the hurricane, I just thought, I just thought it was a good opportunity to talk about things that were powerless related. You don't need a big gym. You don't need to go to a gym that's open. You don't need to drive through dangerous streets to get your fitness on. Now remember, things will go back to normal. You will be able to lift weights again, but let's say you can't lift weights. Let's say you don't have a home gym. Let's say you don't have access to a gym. Let's say you can't get your pump on for a day, for a couple days, for a week. How do you still you know, keep seeing progress mentally and physically, because mentally you're going to go fucking nuts. And physically, you're not going to change a whole lot. You're not going to lose all your fucking gains like in a day or a week. Uh, so let's talk about this. Every day, those of you and those of you that are first timers here on the Daily Sleazy, if you're first time on the Daily Sleazy, no gyms rock. I do not think that at all. I don't think no gyms rock. I think gyms fucking rock. Not having a gym blows, but, but, there are things you can do. <laughs> there are things you can do. So I'm live here every day at 12 noon Eastern. If it's your first time on the Daily Sleazy, make sure you drop a comment. I want to know if it's your first time on the Swole. A lot of new people coming in, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Like and share the broadcast. Now, this is a good episode because we're going to be talking about things that we haven't talked before, and it's going to lead into next week's premium workshop, which is a brand new topic. And if you are not sharing, then you're not believing in the game train. 
It's one thing to like, it's one thing to float a thumb, it's one thing to drop a comment, it's a whole other thing to share and spread the love and to tag people after we're live. So please hit the share button, mash that fucking share button, it means everything. If you support the fucking game train, then do it, come on. Help everyone get pumped, help your friends get pumped. You're like, I'm watching Daily Show, I'm watching this fucking bearded animal. Get yoked like it ain't no joke live on camera, come on, share it. Hit the share button, you fucking pussies, come on. That was Arnold talking. California, Anaheim, welcome, Anaheim in the house. Let's uh, let's get into it. So I'm live here every day at 12 noon Eastern time, but you can watch all the episodes also on YouTube. Got a lot of content over there, and also listen to the podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes. And no surprise to most of you, check me out on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, just Instagram at Solnormous. Do a lot of behind the scenes, a lot of Instagram stories, and a lot of cool content over there uh, exclusively for Instagram. So make sure you hit me up on IG, Instagram, Swole Normus. Welcome to all the noobs. Welcome. So let's go over a couple things that you can do without power. Power goes out. Don't drive. Don't go anywhere. You can't go anywhere. This is home type shit. You can do workouts at home. Okay, first off, if you have a pull-up bar in your house, get one of those that hooks around the door. Push-ups, pull-ups, all that shit. I'm not talking about even doing home calisthenic workouts. Not going to get you huge. Not going to get you massive. But it can definitely help you keep your game up. So you can do push-ups and pull-ups, you can do planks, you can do a lot of the corrective exercise. And uh, the things that we talk about in my premium group, the workshops we've done, corrective exercise, core training workshops, and the ones that are coming up next week, uh, you can get all that done at home. You can get all that done at home. You can do, also, you can do yoga. You can do yoga at home. Yoga, you do not need weights. Yoga, you do not need to go anywhere. You don't even need a mat or a towel. You don't even need basic equipment. The basic stuff that usually people use for yoga, the basic stuff that people usually use for yoga, you don't even need. You don't need a mat. You don't need a towel. You can just use the floor. Uh, but a lot of people think they need all this stuff. They need the right water bottle. They need the right music. They need to go somewhere. No, you just need to fucking do yoga. You just need to do yoga and yeah, and I have that live yoga group. So actually, because I'm mentioning it, I'll actually put a link in the description. It's not there right now, but I'll put a link in the description to the live yoga group. I, Swole Normous, have a live yoga group where I have uh, instructors and videos in the group where you can use your phone, iPad, and computer and watch yoga classes everywhere. So I'll actually put a link in the description or you can message me if you want some more information on that. But I'll put a link after the show. I wasn't planning, I, I, it just popped into my mind um, that I wanted to mention yoga as well. Because the main thing that I wanted to get into, in addition to yoga, in addition to the body weight exercises, just things are popping into my mind, all the things that you can do yoga, stretching, you could do mobility exercises. Now mobility exercise, we've talked about before, it kind of goes hand in hand with some of the correctives, hip bridges, planks, single leg exercises, stabilization exercises, thoracic rotation exercises, those things are also great. Now I can't explain every single exercise right here, but what I can show you is an apparatus that a lot of you have seen, and most of you probably have not, or if you've seen it, you don't know really what it is, and if you use it, you probably don't do it correctly, as many things. Boom, a foam roller. If you've never done myofascial release, you never use a foam roller, these things are inexpensive. You can find them anywhere from Walmart to Target to Amazon, everywhere, and you can do your myofascial release, your foam rolling, and your inhibition. Now, when it comes to making progress, you have to put the yin with the yang. You have to balance it out. You can't just do lifting, lifting, get in shape, lift weights, get bigger, get stronger. It has to be a combination of mobility and strength. And that's why I like to put the weight train with the yoga. That's why we have the yoga group. That's why we have the yoga and the mobility in the 90 day dash program as well. That's why we have the live yoga class in the premium group. Like there's very, very, very systematic approaches to all of these different things that we discuss here on the daily and to my programs and to my private groups because mobility and functionality of the muscles are so important. So it's not just lifting weight, it's not just building muscle, it's balancing that muscle out and how we can keep ourselves lifting stronger, bigger, heavier, more, 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 but not even just that, just progressing, getting stronger, getting leaner, being healthier, being you know, more mobile walking for the rest of our lives. You don't have to be, this is not just about if you're watching your female, it's not about just getting fucking huge and getting massive and meatheads, no. This is about longevity. 
And you can't have longevity without mobility. You can't just lift weights and not do any other kinds of movement. It's not just about lifting weights, it's about taking the body through the range of motion that it needs to go through. And foam rolling and stabilization, I'm, I'm sorry, foam rolling and inhibition techniques help tremendously. Help tremendously. This thing, this foam roller is actually used, you actually roll on it like you're the dough and this is the dough roller, but you do it in a very specific way in order to shut down the neural impulses to the brain. And that way your body neurally shuts down activity to the muscles that are spasming, that are tightening, and then it prepares them to be stretched and to be lengthened. So it absolutely helps balance out all the weight training. And what happens in this world, in this society, is we get very one track. We get very one, uh, one track minded. Like we get on fitness and lifting. It's like lifting, there's nothing else but lifting weights. Or we do yoga and it's like yoga, I'm a yogi now. All I do is yoga, yoga does everything, blah, blah, blah. And it's absolutely 150% not true. There is never any one type of movement. Anyone that tells you that is either just, <laughs> just out of their fucking mind no one thing does everything. Yoga doesn't do everything. Weight training doesn't do everything. Martial arts don't do everything. A lot of these things can have a holistic approach that comes at it from many different disciplines and vantage points and philosophies, but they never cover everything because they do things a specific way and only that way. Even if they're open-minded, you can't physically capture every aspect of human movement with any one process. So. When you're going into the world of health and fitness, that's why I never say there's one thing, you have to do this because you won't get results otherwise. Do this to lose weight. There isn't one way. There's never one way. Anyone tells you there's one way to do something, especially in life or just health and fitness, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. There are many, many ways. We're taught since we're fucking babies that there are rules. This is right, that's wrong. Do this, not that. This is how you, this is how you do this. This is not how you do this. And that's complete lie. There, is, there are no rules to life. There are no rules to life. We put laws in place for certain things, but there's no, there's no rule. There's no rule. There's no rule for success. There's no rule for optimal movement. There's no such thing as optimal movement. We don't know what that is. That's subjective. And we don't know all the things about movement. You'll read in a book and it'll say, this is that movement. That's flexion, that's extension. There's so many sub-degrees of movement. There's so many things we don't even understand, okay? We don't understand everything about the human body. We don't. Just because we're gene splicing doesn't mean we know everything about movement. So no one knows everything about everything. We don't, there's a lot to learn. There's a lot to learn. So is there, and that's why I always answer, is there, what's the best exercise for this? I don't know. Here's an exercise, but I don't know what the best one is. You know, what's the best way to lose weight? I don't know. Here are a couple ways that could work. I don't know. What's the best diet? I don't know. There are a bunch of, there are a lot of things you can put in your mouth. What's best for you and what's best, those are both subjective things. So you have to experiment. You have to add these things in. But, but to use the excuse, and I saw someone say there's only one way, work hard. I like that. There's, only, there's no excuse to not have a gym and not do anything today. You could foam roll. You can make progress with your mobility. You can make progress with your lengthening and your active recovery. You can make progress with your yoga, with your stretching. You can make progress with your nutrition and eating healthy and meditation and you know stretching. You can do things at home. These things don't require gyms. This is like 20 bucks. You can get one and it doesn't take up much space. You could do it anywhere. You just need a, a surface, right? You can do yoga anywhere. You just need room to stand and to go horizontal. Hell, if you have limited room, you can still do forms of yoga. So there's no, and if you're injured, if you're injured, you gotta check with your doctor and don't wanna go through pain, but some of you are commenting, I see, yeah, but I hurt this, I hurt this. Yoga is great for everyone. Yoga is great, you know, to help get through injuries in many cases. You can do modified forms of yoga, like to say I can't do yoga because I hurt my shoulder or hurt my ankle, it's like, fuck. Yoga has gotten me through some of those injuries. Yoga has gotten me through those injuries and helped me get better with those injuries. I mean, it depends on what it is, but do not use injuries as an excuse to not do yoga. I'm not saying hurt yourself. I'm not saying don't check with your doctor. I'm not saying blah, 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 but a lot of times mobility can help improve and help 
things recover from exercise. If you hurt your arm, if you broke your arm, you can still do yoga and stretching with the lower body. You're just making an excuse to be lazy. Oh, I broke my arm. I can't do yoga. Uh, you're just, you're not working on your hip mobility, obviously. You're not working on your balance. You're not working on things. It's your arm. You still got legs. Or it's your leg. You still have arms. You could still do things. You're making excuses. You're making excuses. So if you hurt yourself in one part of your body, unless you're in a fucking full body cast, you can still do some sort of movement training or mobility training. Don't let that be an excuse. Don't let that be a crutch. And stay tuned for uh, a lot more episodes getting, uh, there'll be more on nutrition, all these topics, always fucking doing different stuff on the Daily Swole. And we'll get back into some really cool content here. But these are all the things, because I just want, in case anyone's in like a hurricane affected area, you can do stuff when the power goes out and you're safe. Just be safe, number one. Be safe, number one, and then after the power's out and you're living like in a third world country for the next week or two or three weeks and you don't have anywhere to go and you know gyms are shut down and blah, 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 and the roads are flooded. If you have a space, even if you're in a shelter, you can still do some stretching and some mobility and some um, you know meditation or some yoga. You can do that type of stuff. And I encourage you because you don't need power. You don't need a weight room, anything fancy. And I want you to understand that your body and your physical health is the most important thing. So just because you can't be lifting weights, you can still take care of yourself, you know? Uh, even if there is no power and there is a natural disaster, but you're safe and you're alive, you can take care of yourself. And you can take care of yourself with just some basic breathing techniques, with just some basic stretching. You can take care of yourself. And then once everything goes back to normal, you can get back to getting yoked. Ooh. So I'm gonna have a lot of content. We're gonna be doing some foam rolling workshop this week. I'm gonna be putting out some more video content talking about mobility, talking about uh, physical process, talking about foods. We're gonna be doing a lot of content. This is gonna be a mashup this week, but next week's workshop is gonna be fucking lit because it's gonna be all about mobility. And um, those of you that have never tried yoga, I really encourage you checking out my live yoga group. So I'll put that in the, in the description. Uh, that's yoga.swanormous.com, yoga.swanormous.com. And I'll put that in the description as well as my premium community. Two separate things, one does all live yoga classes. So there's a huge archive of yoga, yoga, yoga classes. You can do wherever you want, whenever you want. So um, just make sure you're focused on, if you're focused on yoga, you wanna try yoga specifically. The yoga group is amazing. And if you want the camaraderie and the community of like-minded individuals for support, if you have trouble losing weight, building muscle, if you need that, that human touch and you need that connection with people that don't want to bullshit you, that want to help you towards your goal, if you want one-on-one -on -one call time with me that we do one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, that's all done in my premium group. It's amazing fucking value. Uh, you get to try the group for a week. It's amazing community and a lot of people in here that watch daily are in premium and we set up the one-on-one -on -one calls we talk through it there's a yoga class in premium there are weekly workshops nutrition exercise corrective exercise that you can watch anytime anywhere uh, it's just an amazing group it's an amazing group it's right here on facebook and it's called swanormous premium premium.swanormous.com link is in the description highly recommend it there's no risk and just everything to fucking gain and it's an amazing group and yes yeah, sadie we love you too premium loves you right back dear and it's just a really a really tight knit group so if you've been watching the swole for a while if you've been watching this uh the show for a while if you've been kind of uh you know sitting sitting in the weeds in the back of the classroom really i i encourage you to not wait any longer and just hook in join up like there's really nothing to lose and you're gonna learn a lot you're gonna make a lot of friends um you get to set up your one-on-one -on -one call with me you get to watch all the workshops there's just hours and hours of content and additional stuff um, that's exclusive for premium members. Yeah, it's it's awesome. And the comments below explain it. And Miles and uh, Daniel, Justin, uh, Sadie, everyone that's at members of premium, um, you're awesome. You're all awesome. And um, the support is amazing. So thank you so much for sharing the broadcast. Thanks for joining me on uh, just another stop on the gain train, yo. Another stop on the gain train. And I'm gonna be changing up the scenery, be going some, doing some different stuff on the daily and throwing out some knowledge nukes in some, uh, in some many uh, different ways <sighs> this week because we're out of the element, man. We're out of the element. I'm out of my element. I'm out of my element. I'm out of my home. I'm out of the office. I'm out of the freaking game train. I'm out of, you know, I'm out of 
you know, where I, where I live. So this is interesting for all levels. So stay tuned for a lot of cool content. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Instagram at Solnormous. Peace, my geese. Deuce, my goose. Premium, love you. Hope you enjoyed that workshop last night. It was lit like a fucking hit. And I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to get my coffee game on. I'm gonna be talking to a couple of you in premium in a few minutes. Um, at 1 p.m. because I got some calls for some of my premium members. Remember, if you're a member of Soul Normous Premium and you have not yet scheduled your one-on-one -on -one call uh, lately, make sure you go to that post and schedule your call. Don't slack on that. We got to catch up. And uh, we're going to start cycling through and everyone's going to start setting up calls again uh, in the near future because um, just been running through those. And those of you that are interested in following the Daily Swole and some of the call content and all this awesome shit, remember podcast, SoundCloud, and iTunes, type in Swole Normous, YouTube, Swole Normous, and right here every day at 12 noon Eastern time. <coughs> Peace out. Papa Swole Normous, get his coffee on. I might just eat this foam roller. I'm pretty hungry. I wonder what it tastes like. What do you think? You dare me? You dare me? The awkward pause before I... I've never done this, just slowly.